I apologize for this video being a little bit choppier than what I expected it to be. Basically all I did was I put the top end back together, I adjusted the throttle cable which was too long, I shortened it down, uh, I think it was an inch, to make it work and put that back on and then put the new handlebar controls on. Uh, today is Easter Sunday, I'm going to be posting the next video next week so stick with me please. It does get a lot better, I spent a couple hours on the bike today um, going through everything from new controls, taking the wheels off, uh, popping a new brand new tire tube, swapping out some wheels, so that was fun. Just kind of wanted to fill in the gap of where I am today from where I was in the last video. So I apologize for this video. It will get better. Stick with me, I promise. Thanks. Finally piston reinstall day. Gonna have all this set up and about to throw the piston back on there. Gonna get the piston on, get the ring set up, and then toss the cylinder back on. Everything is getting cleaned up and we'll go back on, torque down, and go from there. So that's the next step, just want to get this top end back together. Here's a quick reference of the old rings gap versus the new rings gap, so the compression should be a lot better now. Plus I'm going to an aluminum piston from the steel piston. Now I'm working on getting this cable shortened. I mentioned it needed to be cut down about an inch and a quarter. So what I did was I went to a bicycle shop and I got one of these small pieces right here. Let me see if I can set this down. Basically, it's the end for a shifter cable. I'm going to cut this back, um, crimp this on, and I'm basically just going to try and replace this, which goes into the carb, and right there. Also notice on my last video that I posted last week, it was kind of boring to just shoot every little scene. So I'm going to try and speed up things a little bit, so if you see things progressing along a little bit faster without me explaining it in detail, that's why. Go ahead and coat the end of this. I'm also going to crimp it, but figure it can't hurt to have some JB Weld on it also. While I'm waiting for the cable to dry, I'm going to go ahead and swap these bars out and put the new black bars on there since I need to start taking most of the controls apart anyways. There's the new bars. They're not very thick. I think they're 7 8 style. I'm really pumped to get these old grips off just kind of... Um, swap this look out a bit. So I think this really helped the look of it overall too. That wasn't very tight at all, I mean. Let that dangle right there. I can transfer everything over. All right, cool. It's kind of where these weren't gonna work. They look a lot lower than the original. Some people like real low bars. I actually prefer my bars to be taller. So I'm interested to see how these are gonna compare setup wise. It's all about the small victories in life. I like that look. I'm not sure how I feel about the sweep though. They are really low. For frame of reference, these are the old ones. I kind of think I like the older bend a lot better. Uh, these are just all tweaked out so I can't use them anymore. But I may have to find another bar that sits a lot higher, sweeps back more. I won't be able to tell for sure until I actually get on it and ride. I mean, I guess it's not bad. It's just lower so we'll see also gosh these freaking clutch cables are ridiculous to pull if anyone at all anyone at all can help me out with figuring out how to loosen that up just any would be great but this is i mean arm pump waiting to happen it's just like i can't i can't describe how many pounds it is but it's 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 pretty ridiculous spent so some time after i adjusted the throttle cable and the length of it got it all, I'm gonna rerun it a little bit because I don't like where it's at. But here's the best part. Got some throttle snap now. Whereas before, this didn't do anything at all because it was too loose and just broken off. So, throttle is now working, which is great. One more step in the progress of this. All right guys, see you guys later. Hope everyone had a great Easter. We'll see you on the flip side.